Hi Aquarius, this is Sandy Couture, <clears throat> excuse me, and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of August 2021, excuse me. I'm sorry this video is late. I came home from Illinois after visiting my grandchildren who are toddlers with a cold and I have just gotten to the place where I can actually talk for a prolonged period of time without <clears throat> coughing too much. So anyway, I really wanted to get this video out this week before the weekend because the first weekend in August has a pretty um, uh, powerful astrological situation going on. Actually, we've been in the midst of it. For the last two weeks, last week and this week, we've been in what's called a T-square. Um, Saturn, the planet of quick, brilliant, man or no, not quick, brilliant, manifestation and crystallization, um, but also the pattern of uh, form and structure. So this is not chaotic or or out of the blue manifestation. This is actually, actually structured manifestation. Um, but it's a beautiful, Saturn is really a wonderful planet to help you move through those things. Saturn is in opposition to the sun. Now the sun's energy is in Leo, which is very outgoing, very bombastic, very um, uh, light of the party, you know, bright shining star. So when you put this tampening down on the Leo sun, it's kind of a back and forth, a push pull internally for people. So, and in addition to that, both of those planets are at a 45 degree angle from Uranus, the planet of quick, brilliant change, which is in Taurus. Now, a, a T-square gives a lot of pressure to exit out the opposite from the top planet. And the opposite of that is Scorpio. So, um, the release is going to be in feelings and um, situations and knowing what you want and getting clarity. And this weekend is a good time for that release because there's going to be a new moon in Leo, um, which is going to be right in the mix of that T-square. Now, new moons are about moving forward in new projects. And so if you haven't given yourself goals for the month of August, it's a good time for you to maybe formulate some goals because there's going to be a lot of astrological support for moving forward with grace, ease, elegance, and success for the rest of this month with your heart's desire. So be thinking about it um, before the weekend and be ready to take that first step. So the first card that I pulled for you, Aquarius, is the Hanged Man. Now the Hanged Man I love because it reminds me of when I was a kid and we would stand on our heads and look at everybody and we thought it was very funny because it looked like everybody was sitting on the ceiling and we were actually on the floor. So um, it challenges you to look at situations from a different viewpoint. You know, maybe you haven't considered <clears throat> all the points of view in whatever it is you're desiring. So look at everything from many different viewpoints in order to formulate what it is you're desiring. Um, the surprise or challenge is actually a challenge card. The five of pentacles is about not comparing yourself to others or not putting shoulds on yourself. Don't should on yourself. You should be here. You should be this far. You should be doing this. You know, don't do that this month. Allow yourself to look at things with a new perspective and allow yourself to uh, cut yourself some, some leeway. Don't get down on yourself. Um, your process card, though, is for you to stand up for what it is you believe and what it is you want. And it's a good time for you to do that. Uh, wands are a fire and action sign. So it's time to take action for yourself in standing up for your desires. It doesn't have to be harsh, just has to be firm. Your outcome card is one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's the Ace of Cups. I love it because it shows the phases of the moon, which is all about intuition. Cups are a water card. They're water cards. They deal with feelings. Um, but you can see the third eye looking down from the heavens so you're going to have a fabulous manifestation of your heart's desires by the end of the month. As long as you can get clarity, clarity, um, don't 
be harsh on yourself. You're a fixed air sign. Um, and allow yourself to move forward with grace and ease. Hopefully that was helpful for all of you Aquarians out there. If you have any questions about your personal astrology, feel free to contact me and I will get with you, get back with you. Have a wonderful month. Thanks.